Adam here with the Walzer Automotive Group, and today we've got the 2024 Chevrolet Silverado 2500. Now, this is the ZR2 Bison Edition. So we'll go over some of the exterior features, some of the really cool stuff inside, and see if this might just be the perfect HD truck for you. Now let's start up front with the 2500 HD. Again, this is the ZR2 Bison Edition, so there are quite a few differences. The biggest one being these AEV front bumpers. Now it's a boron steel, so it's a very strong steel material. You've got recovery hooks up front. One thing to note, this does add the snowplow prep package as well as the gooseneck prep package, and you have the higher off-road steps, so it makes it a little easier to hop into the truck. Now you're gonna notice the flow tie or the black bow tie up front for the Chevy logo with the backup camera or front facing camera rather on this particular one since it does have the 360 view camera. Makes it very easy to park and since the hood height is so high, that can make it a lot easier to see what's going on out front. Now this one does get the blacked out grille and these really cool C-shaped design headlights. When you unlock the vehicle, the LEDs kind of dance inside the headlight and it looks killer, especially at night. From there, one of the big things the AEV package adds is the steel and aluminum skid plates underneath the vehicle, depending on where it's located. So if you are planning on doing any off-roading or trail running, you are gonna be covered for underneath the vehicle. If you're bouncing off any rocks or logs or anything like that, it will cover underneath the vehicle. So let's talk about this suspension. Now, this is the Multimatic DSSV suspension, which makes a huge difference on this truck. You notice it even just driving around the parking lot. The Multimatic is such a game changer for this truck. It's a lot smoother ride, especially if you're doing any off-roading. There's quite a few reviews out there on just how good the suspension is. And immediately when you hop in the truck, it makes a difference. There's a few different normal and off-road modes you can select as well inside. So there's a lot of capable features when looking at this 20 2500 HD. Now let's talk about the engine options. So this has the 6.6 liter gas V8. There's also a 6.6 liter diesel engine. So with the gas engine, you can be looking at about 401 horsepower and 464 foot pounds of torque. Now that's going to be good for towing in the standard HD ZR2 for 16,000 pounds. If you'd like a little bit more towing capacity, the diesel engine does bump up the horsepower and the torque figures quite a bit. Horsepower goes to 470 and 975 foot-pounds of torque, so the standard ZR2 2500 can tow 18,500 pounds. Now, both the gas and the diesel will have the 10-speed Allison transmission, which is a great transmission in this truck, and it is super smooth out on the road. Now, the wheels are the 18-inch AEVs with the 35-inch Goodyear. It looks so good on this truck. The full blacked out look is killer, especially from the side view of this truck. And like I said, with those LED headlights, it's just an awesome looking truck. So let's hop out back. We'll check out the truck bed. All right, so at the rear of the ZR2 Bison Edition, first thing you're gonna notice is these AEV bumpers that are also on the back with your recovery hooks back here and obviously your trailer hitch. Now from there, you're gonna get the AEV and blacked out emblems on the back, which looks super cool. And this Bison Edition does come with the multi-flex tailgate. So a couple clicks on here, you can click the first one just to lower the tailgate if you want. And then another click is actually gonna release this. One more thing, and then you've got a step that you can use a handle to get into the back of the truck. Now this particular one did come with the gooseneck or camper prep package. So if you are using a gooseneck or the camper trailer, this one's already gonna be set up for you there. Now you are gonna have LED bed lights in the back. You've got your 120 plug on the one side and then your gooseneck plugins on the other right below the handle. Now, what else is cool about this truck? There is side steps on the side of the bed. So if you need to access something, but you don't want to open the tailgate, there is going to be side steps over there. And obviously you can use this as a standard tailgate. Plus all the ZR2 models are going to come standard with the spray and bed liner. Now, if we're looking at the gas HD, the ZR2s can haul up to 3,397 pounds in the bed, which is going to be a little bit more than the Rebel, which is only about 3,140. You're gonna notice you do have a little camera in the back so you can check on the cargo and you've got your sliding rear window so you can open that up, which is really nice. So towing figures are a little bit different when you do add the ZR2 Bison Edition. Now that we've got this closed up, let's hop inside, we'll take a look in there. All right, so inside the ZR2 Bison, the first thing you have to notice is the super cool interior. Now, these seats are extremely comfortable. There's a really cool pattern that runs through them. You've got the AEV logo embedded into the headrest here. There's a yellow stitching that falls through the cabin, and it looks killer in here. Now, these seats are going to be heated for the driver, the passenger, and the second row. Plus, up front, these are also going to be cooler air-conditioned seats, which is really nice when it does get warm out. 
Now there is a remote start on the vehicle and depending on what the temperature was set at, it can actually automatically turn your heated or ventilated seats on, which is a pretty great feature to kind of tackle the weather. Now from here, you're going to notice our large display. So you're going to have things like Apple CarPlay as well as Android Auto, and that's going to be a wireless system. And I've got my phone and I can put that right here on the wireless charger. So I'm not messing with it. Now in our armrest, we do have USBs as well as the household outlet. And then there is a couple more USBs up front here, but the wireless charging is great. I'm not messing with my phone with my CarPlay hooked up. I've got Google Maps, Spotify, all my text messaging. So I can do that right on the screen. So I'm not taking my attention off the road ahead. Now this one also does come with the heads up display. So I've got my pertinent information up there for things like my adaptive cruise control, my miles per hour, all that good stuff is right ahead. Now, another thing that's pretty cool, if I do have my CarPlay going, I can actually have my clock on the side. If I've got a trailer behind me, I can have that kind of connection status set up. So you can actually go into the infotainment screen and it will memorize the trailer that you have, or you can connect a guest trailer. So there's a lot of cool stuff. If you are obviously using the large 2500, they assume a lot of people are going to be trailering with these. So that's a very convenient feature to have there. Now the backup camera in here, you can actually also pull that up right here in the infotainment. So if you're parked or going slow, there's a ton of cameras. Like I said, there's the truck bed one. You can see down from the front, the 360, both sides. This is a huge truck. So that is an awesome feature if you're out on the trails or if you're out in the desert, or if you're just trying to see where you're at in your garage, that is certainly going to help you out in a pinch. Now we have a few buttons down below. This ZR2 Bison will come with the locking rear differential. So they did also leave the volume knob on here with a home button. So that's nice. It's not just in the infotainment screen or on the steering wheel. There actually is a physical knob here, which does make it very convenient. And matching that is the dual climate control knobs, which is really nice. So we also have the brake controller in here, which is easily accessible. And you're going to have your engine start stop button here, which pairs to the keyless entry from the outside of the vehicle. Now on our left side, that's your heads up display controls. And then obviously the 4x4 only comes on the ZR2 Bison Edition. So you've got your auto, four high, four low, and then two wheel drive and your drive mode select over here on the side. Now this also has the full digital gauge cluster. You can program it to set it how you want it to look. There's the classic progressive look in here. And you can also go through and keep track of your pertinent information, MPG, tire pressure, some of that trailer stuff. All that goes through the steering wheel here, control onto that digital display, which is really cool. Now inside you'll notice the trim almost like a carbon fiber style with the gray leather that runs through here in the black. It just looks really good. And this model also gets the sunroof up above. So it does open it up for the darker interior. Now, usually when I'm shooting in the back seats, I'm cramped. I don't have any room in this 2500 Bison. That is not the case. There is a ton of room in the back. You've got little storage cubbies in the rear backrest of those seats. Those seats can fold. They can move. You get a ton of space. And like I said, you've also got the heated seats back there and some USB charging. If you've got the kiddos back there or anyone in the back, they're going to be happy, comfortable and be able to keep their devices charged up. Now, a few other things, this one does also add the Bose sound system and you've got your memory seats on the side here, which is really convenient for a couple of drivers. Now, how about safety? Like I said, this has the adaptive cruise control. This is going to have blind spot monitoring. It's got the lane departure warning, all that stuff you can turn on or off or use if you would like. And it makes it really easy to do that in the display or the infotainment screen. This does have the larger tow mirrors with the split glass where the blind spot monitoring is housed. And that's got the cool lights that you can kick on. So when you kick on the headlights, you've got kind of the plug in for the emergency lights up above and those orange or amber lights on the side. One other thing in here, we've got the electronic rear view mirror. So if you've got stuff in the truck bed, you can't quite see out behind you. You can kick that on. It gives you a clear view out of the back of the truck and it is a really cool feature. Now, overall, what do I think? This thing is awesome. There's so much cool equipment with the AEV bumpers, the awesome interior, the Multimatic suspension is such a huge upgrade now for the 24, 2500s. So if you're towing on the job site, if you're out playing around in the woods or hauling that fifth wheel, this is such a comfortable, cool and stylish way to do all that. I think you gotta get out and take one of these for a spin and see what you think. Now that was just a quick look at the 241500 ZR2 Bison. Now, if you have any other questions or you'd like to see one in person, you can visit us online at walzer.com or stop by Walzer Polar Chevrolet. We'd be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.